like a Chinese Jiangwei class cruiser with a North Korean destroyer escort. Events in the Yellow Sea took a turn for the worse today when North Korean and Chinese forces blockaded and boarded a Japanese cargo ship. The North Korean government released no official statement, and their ambassador remained out of contact. While at the UN, Chinese Ambassador Long Dan urged the US and her longtime Japanese allies to remain calm, calling the blockades a legitimate response to what the rest of Asia views as a possible remilitarization of Japan. This blockade is an act of war. The NSC is working on a formal response, and they've ordered the USS Walsh to close at flank speed. The Walsh is the most advanced spy ship in history. My best man will be on board. What do you know? Chinese and North Korean ships working together again. It's what we expected. That's a 056 prototype, Chinese. Exactly. How are your sea legs? I haven't lost them. Good. Because the 056 prototype isn't the only new fish in the pond. Admiral Toshiro Otomo, head of Japan's newly formed Information Self-Defense Force, had this to say. This is another distressing attempt by China and North Korea to further depress our faltering economy. The ISDF and Japan appeal to our allies for the military support promised us under the post-war constitution of 1946. The fact remains that in the eyes of many in Asia, the ISDF itself is a violation of the post-war constitution prohibiting Japan from maintaining a military force capable of striking beyond its borders. In Asia, the memories of Imperial Japan are still fresh. The body of kidnapped American computer engineer Bruce Morgenholt was discovered in a village in Peru this morning. Implicated in the kidnapping and failed ransom attempt is Hugo Lacerda, alleged leader of the People's Voice, a newly formed guerrilla organization. Here we see the USS Clarence E. Walsh en route to the Yellow Sea for her first assignment amid rising tensions in the region. Dubbed the flagship of a 21st century fleet by Defense Secretary Mason, who reaffirmed America's commitment to our Japanese allies. It is our hope that the presence of the Walsh, now the world's premier electronic and information warfare platform, will help defuse the tensions in the region. With still no word from the North Korean government, China's Long Dan again urged all sides to come to the bargain. We have now a late response by Admiral Toshiro Otomo of the Japanese ISDF. Despite the ambassador's efforts, nothing has changed. The Japanese
Japanese people must continue to endure harassment and humiliation. We eagerly anticipate the arrival of the... Hey, I hate you leaving us. Get back for Panama. Hate to eat and run, sir. We have a few loose ends to tie off before we can rejoin you. Well, you can make it back for the 4th of July. I'll show you one heck of a good time, boy. Wouldn't miss it for the world. So Zerkay and Morgenholt are the only two people who ever saw those algorithms. And Morgenholt is dead. And Zerkezi is connected to a mystery guest we know nothing about. Dvorak. Morgan Holt and Zerkezi are geeks, not terrorists. Maybe this Dvorak is some kind of puppeteer. No hitter, bottom of the eight. 2-0, New York in the eight. The Kirin Watanabe is on the mound. He's pure concentration, pure focus. This is no coincidence. You're on your way to the Big Apple. Now coming to you from our New York City broadcast center, we have Patrick Dunn of Watershed Electric on the line. Mr. Dunn, what do we know at this moment? All we know so far is that this was not an accident. If it's not an accident, then it must be intentional. Both us and the Japanese have been hit by this thing. I think it's pretty obvious who's responsible. Here's a Tomo. It appears we have something in common, Admiral. Our analysis of the information of footprints shows that the pressures which collapsed our power grids appear in many ways similar to those that collapsed our markets. I am certain the Koreans and the Chinese are involved. Let's not jump the gun here, Admiral. We've had our microscope on a man named Zerkezi. He had access to weaponized IW Algos following that business in Georgia. He was also a major DOE consultant after the blackouts here in 2003. Yes, we are aware of this connection. Has Zerkezi been found? Not yet, but it won't take long. I'll keep you posted. As happy as we are to be back online here in New York, our thoughts turn to our loved ones who are defending us on this beautiful 4th of July. We go now live to the Yellow Sea, where sailors aboard the USS Clarence E. Walsh are celebrating. We have Seaman Anthony Palmiera from Brooklyn, New York. Tell us, Seaman Palmiera, how you'll be celebrating Independence Day. Well, the captain's going to have a, a big barbecue on deck, and tonight we'll have our own fireworks. <laughs> Over commences to crack. Nothing's responding. Seaman Palmiera, can you tell us what's happening there? <laughs> Sit tight, Sam. I'll call you back. It's the Koreans, Mr. President. I recommend that we declare war immediately. If it was Korea, there would be 200,000 men coming over the DMZ right now. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe a, an exercise. A test launch gone wrong. That's impossible. The Koreans can't even detect the Walsh. Never mind track it on radar and sink it with a 30-year-old Chinese anti-ship missile. I have reason to believe the ship was crippled with an information warfare attack. Not a chance. The Walsh's systems are... Unhackable? The Walsh's EW suite is built on kernels first identified by two of the world's leading computational theorists. One of them was found dead in Peru last week. I'm about to pick up the other one. The UN, coming to line, so they should be calling the block. Possible alleged leader released no of their long gone line. The North while after the U.S. call. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm not sure what we've just witnessed here, but... I'm afraid something terrible My God. Occurred. Amazing what they show on TV these days, huh, Sam? World's gone crazy. I guess you're in the right business then, Doug. What are you doing here? I'm looking for a guy named Mylon Nedich. Heard he works for you. Lots of people work for me. Haven't you heard? First security company to make the Fortune 500. If you're looking for a job... I'm not. Is that so? 
You keep doing what you're doing, you'll just end up another unknown soldier. I'm not in it for the fame. Your buddy Nedich is dirty. Cut him loose. Unlike other employers, I don't cut people loose. If you got evidence against one of my guys, I'll help you bring him in. But I'm not gonna send a man up the river because you say so. Fair enough. Just stay out of my way. Thanks for the advice. In case you change your mind. Today, Ambassador Long Dan announced Chinese support for the North Korean claim that they did not intentionally launch the missile that sank the Walsh. We are monitoring these developments while continuing to seek a peaceful resolution. Make no mistake, the Chinese People's Republic will employ all means at our disposal to protect our interests in the Asian subcontinent. Our intelligence estimates that the current number of Korean troops massed at the border runs as high as 200,000 men. Monty? Montgomery Lewis, The Times. Do we know what the possible North Korean strategy will be if diplomatic efforts fail? We've known for decades that the NKA would move to capture Seoul as quickly as possible, regardless of the cost. That is how our defenses are structured. But with the capital less than 40 miles from the border, and well within artillery range of the big guns, it is clear that war would be catastrophic in terms of damage done and lives lost. Initial estimates place the combined casualty count for the first 24 hours at, oh my God, 6,000? Is this a typo? 90% or more of those are enemy casualties. Estimates put our losses at less than 1,000 men. Less than 1,000? You say that like it's a good thing. Sir, it's paranoia. Our saber rattling has their leadership in a panic. It's a preemptive strike. Our own intelligence indicates that they didn't launch that missile intentionally. Until we can prove it, Seoul is on the block. What are our military options for holding the city? No reasonable strategic assessment has ever claimed it was possible without nuclear capability. And if that's the way it has to be... attack came from Japan. They're our allies. Mr. President, these attacks represent the most sophisticated application of information warfare ever imagined. The missile launch came through Japan, yes, but it seems likely it was triggered by elements of a private security operation. Displace International. Displace? That's Doug Shetland's outfit. We have contracts with them. Who's Shetland? Former Marine Recon, among the very best. He was one of my top candidates for third echelon a few years ago. No love loss for the military or the United States. Rumor is that we hung him out to dry for political reasons over an incident that wasn't his fault. We can only speculate as to what his agenda is. Well, how do we defuse the situation until we know? Maybe the Chinese can help. Gotcha.
Events today jeopardized diplomatic efforts when North Korean armor encountered a so-called self-healing minefield while attempting to withdraw from the area. North Korean forces were adequately cautioned that self-healing minefields along the DMZ should not be considered cleared obstacles. We're back at the brink of war, and now we find out it is the Japanese? The Japanese are allies. I don't care if they're the Christmas elves. They sank the Walsh. We don't know that their government was involved. We know Admiral Otomo was involved, and we know where the gentleman is. We have to go in now, immediately. The fact is, we don't know how far the conspiracy goes. If Otomo's actions are sanctioned by the Japanese government, then the only solution is military. But if he's acting alone, your man again? He's already in position. Send him in. Jong Pong Chu is a South Korean chemist suspected to be working for the North Korean Cabinet Intelligence Bureau. Under interrogation, Pong Chu confessed his involvement in delivering highly classified bioweapon research to agents of the CGIB. The CGIB then blackmailed him into acquiring heavily regulated viral engineering equipment, which he smuggled through Panama on their behalf. Our investigation of Zhang's reported telecommunications activities over the past few months makes it clear that the North Korean government may be using his intelligence and his equipment to manufacture biological weapons in a series of old bunkers near Nampo Sea. Your mission is to infiltrate the bunker complex, identify any chemical or biological weapons, and recover samples of any agents being developed. Ready? Welcome to the big leagues. To make the grade as an official unofficial splinter cell, you need to keep a low profile. Keep it discreet. We don't want to reignite the war. Research, we don't just want it. Damn, that's exactly the kind of news I didn't want to hear. Good girl, Java. Good girl. Oh, you are. Oh, God. I will tell you everything. The code is 5791. You will find what you are looking for in there. <laughs> Good work so far. But we still need a sample of the virus in weaponized form. Ready. <laughs> By your name, you mean six hours of having your immune system turned against you, liquefy your internal organs and cause you to explosively hemorrhage infectious poop out of every orifice until you boil it! Damn, we're good. I'm in position. Down. Down a little. 
level. Perfect. Good job. If we can get this to the CDC, they can institute a response plan in the event this weapon is used against our troops. I'm a soldier. I've served my country for 20 years. Bishop, you have 24 hours to retrieve that information. But if I'm captured or killed, I know that nobody will come to rescue me. We need to stop this war before it starts. I won't even get a funeral. Don't get caught, Fisher. We can't help you if you do. Because the nation that I protect can never admit that I exist. So my death would go unremarked. My bones would go unclaimed. I don't know if that day will come. But I do know... ...that it must not be today. I am invisible. I am relentless. I am Sam Fisher. I am a Splinter Cell. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory in stores March 31st. I am a soldier. I've served my country for 20 years. Bishop, you have 24 hours to retrieve that information. But if I'm captured or killed, I know that nobody will come to rescue me. We need to stop this war before it starts. I won't even get a funeral. Don't get caught, Fisher. We can't help you if you do. Because the nation that I protect can never admit that I exist. So my death would go unremarked. My bones would go unclaimed. I don't know if that day will come. But I do know... ...that it must not be today. I am invisible. I am relentless. I am Sam Fisher. I am a Splinter Cell. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory in stores March 31st. My name is Sam Fisher. I'm a soldier. I'm not much of a philosopher. But if you want to know what I believe, I'll tell you. I believe the greatest threats to our freedom actually start small. North Korean forces. They begin as random events that most people don't even notice. Seek a peaceful resolution. But they grow. Sailors aboard the USS Walsh. They multiply. What's happening there? They start chain reactions that threaten the entire world. Some people call that fate. I call it chaos theory. But, believing in chaos theory doesn't mean you have to surrender to it. That's where I come in. No! I find those threats before they get out of hand. And I eliminate them. Quickly. Quietly. Relentlessly. I take the lives of a few to protect the lives of many. I commit acts of war to preserve the greater peace. 
I take no joy in killing, but make no mistake. I'll do what needs to be done, because it's my job. It's my duty. My name is Sam Fisher, and I am a Splinter Cell. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, coming March 2005.